Ever wondered what actually happens during a vitrectomy surgery? Let's dive into the process. A vitrectomy is an eye procedure used to treat several serious vision problems, including retinal detachment, macular holes, and bleeding inside the eye. Vitrectomy is typically performed under local anesthesia. Once the eye is fully numbed and prepared, the surgeon uses a microscope and makes tiny incisions in the white part of the eye called the sclera. Through these tiny openings, small instruments are inserted into the eye to carefully remove the vitreous gel, the clear, jelly-like substance that fills the space in the middle of the eyeball. Once it's cleared out, the surgeon can safely treat the underlying problem, like repairing a detached retina, sealing a macular hole, or removing scar tissue. Depending on the reason for surgery, the eye might be filled with a special gas bubble or a silicone oil to help keep everything in place as the eye heals. At the end of the procedure, the tiny incisions are either self-sealing or closed with dissolvable stitches. 